Let's watch this video together. So this is a video of a patient who recently had a right total knee replacement. I've been sharing a bunch of different videos on how I work with patients to improve lower extremity coordination, proprioception, and the quality of their walking patterns. This is another variation. You've seen me do it through an agility ladder. You've seen me do it with a balance beam. If you haven't watched those videos, I'll link them down below. But now we're walking on about a one inch thick mat. So when she takes a step, you'll see the mat compress. And what that does is it forces the brain and the nervous system to adjust to a changing environment. You know, I want people to be able to walk in grass, walk in sand, especially those individuals who want to go on a cruise, who want to go somewhere tropical. They want to be able to walk on the beach. I grew up in South Florida. I love the beach. I love the ocean and the Gulf. I want everybody to have that freedom. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to start the video. And you can see here that she takes those first couple steps. The right knee was replaced. The left knee wasn't. And you can see how that left knee kind of collapses in. I'm going to slow down the motion. The right knee, beautiful, straight. The left knee collapses in a little bit. Uh, it's unstable. It's a little bit weak. So while we're rehabbing the right, everything we do, we do bilateral. We do both sides. Because there's a chance that she might be able to avoid a left total knee replacement. So we walk across the mat, we do it forward first because that's the most normal way people are walking, they're walking forward. We do it next to the kitchen counter so that there's something that she can touch or hold on to. Now, after we've done several repetitions going forward, we walk sideways because you never know how you're gonna have to walk, what you're gonna have to step around. She gets down to the edge of the mat, I ask her to step off so she has to deal with that transition from a soft surface to a hard surface. And then she comes back on. Again, you can see how that left knee is kind of collapsed in. We call that a valgus knee. Um, but the right knee, the one that had been replaced, beautiful, straight, solid, steady. Notice there was a little stumble there. Now those little stumbles, I'm not gonna call them loss of balance, but what happens is if you don't train those, if you don't practice those, you never get better. So this gives, uh, gives us an opportunity in a controlled environment to kind of make her a little uncomfortable and, and tax her balance system. Now the last one we're gonna do here, it looks just like the first one, walking forward. But what I always do is I ask all of my patients to spend some time walking backward because when we walk backward, all of a sudden we have to learn how to walk again. So we'll do it one more time. You'll see it here in just a minute. She steps on the mat, she walks forward, she gets to the edge and then she's going to walk back and she's just doing an amazing job. This is something we do on a regular basis in the clinic, usually within two to four weeks after total knee replacement surgery.